right now one of my biggest problems is that pretty much all my clothes are like three sizes too big and it's almost as bad as when your clothes don't fit because they're too small because you've gained weight except it's way better for my ego. Hey guys, it's me, Anna. My husband went in to work today, so I decided to dress up with him in solidarity. And since I look like a human and I'm not in sweats, I thought I might as well film a video. I'm gonna talk about how I lost 40 pounds. When I did this, I was really out of shape. So this is fitness for the unfit. If you feel hopeless, if you feel like you're never gonna be able to get into shape or feel good about yourself, then you're in good company because that's kind of where I started. I started in a real low. I had found out that I had a bulging disc in my neck and I was getting chronic migraines. So I was in terrible shape I because I was so out of shape. I only had a five minute goal. Like I wanted to walk for five minutes, I wanted to meditate for five minutes, and I wanted to cook all of my own food. And I wanted to cook my own food because this gave me a lot more control over the portions and knowing what was in it. I think it encouraged me to eat a lot less food. This past year, I stopped eating out in March for obvious reasons. And at first I was really starting to miss some of my favorite takeout and restaurants, but then I just decided to make it a challenge to go for a whole year without eating out. It became easier and easier. Honestly, what I learned from this is that when you have to cook all of your own food, you eat less because it's a lot of work to cook meals. Over time, my portions got smaller and smaller. Since I was eating food that had like less oil, less salt, less sugar, less seasoning, it was just easier on my digestion. And I started to lose weight pretty consistently. I would say that I lose about two pounds a month. Now I am going for hour long hikes and I run on the elliptical, but I still don't do classes at the gym because I just don't feel like they're right for me. When we talk about fitness, I feel like so many people talk about it as if there are rules. You have to eat this, you can't eat that, you need to do this, but you can't do that. And I think that's not a way to look at it that fits for me. Sometimes when we talk about weight loss, we talk about it as though it embodies a rejection of ourselves. And I don't feel that way at all. I feel like eating healthy and exercising is a form of self-love. You take time out of your day to make food that's good for you or to exercise so that you're in better health. I feel like when you're approaching your own fitness, it should really come from a place of self-love. So don't pick exercise that you hate and don't go on a diet that you hate. You need to eat food that you like that makes you feel good and to do exercise or movement that is right for you and also makes you feel good. I hear so much no pain, no gain, and I really don't agree with that. One of the reasons why is that a lot of people that have health problems or chronic conditions have found out that they shouldn't have been pushing through that pain. It wasn't good for them. And honestly, pain is your body's way of saying that something's wrong. So if you're exercising and you're in a lot of pain, you need to listen. Pushing through, I think, is a little bit toxic. In certain situations, it can definitely lead to injury and it's just in general, in my opinion, not good. I'm just sharing my opinion. And if you don't agree with me, like you can let me know. I'm really open to other ways of thinking. I think that a lot of things are right for some people and not right for others. One of the most important things I think about health and weight loss is how much we don't understand about it. Weight loss is not just calories in and calories out. They don't exactly know all of the components. But there are a lot of psychologists that work with people regarding like different weight issues and they know that there are a lot of psychological factors that go into it. Like if you're really worried about your weight and you don't want to ever be overweight, you have anxiety about your weight, you're more likely to have weight problems, which I think is kind of interesting, but I'm not the expert. I'm not a health professional. I'm not a psychologist. I am not a fitness guru. I'm just 
a person talking about their own experience and what's helped me and what hasn't helped me. So I in no way am telling you what will work for you or that everything I say is straight up fact. I, I just know that it has worked for me and that I feel so much better. Also, there's this conception that weight is really connected to being unhealthy or unhealthy, that like if you lose weight, maybe all of your problems, including all of your health problems will go away. And I can attest to the fact that that is not true. However, I feel much better. I have a lot more energy. And when I do have a really bad day, especially a bad migraine day, I can cope much better with it because overall, physically, I am in better shape. For me, my biggest problem is that I didn't have that much strength. I have very flexible like ligaments and stuff. And so this extra body fat was really putting a lot of pressure on my joints and my frame, making me feel terrible. So when they talk about what a healthy weight is, I think it is different for everybody. Like you have to know yourself and you have to know kind of when to stop losing weight too. And I think I'm getting to the point where I'm close to a really healthy weight and I wouldn't want to lose more weight. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's like, it's very difficult. I think it's a hard topic to talk about. A health journey or a weight loss journey is about loving yourself and feeling better and not about punishing yourself because you think that you are too overweight or you don't look good because it makes me so sad when people talk about how awful they feel about themselves. Even now there are probably people that are going to think I'm too skinny or too fat. Healthy living and weight loss isn't always toxic. It's not always about needing to be super skinny. It doesn't always lead to anorexia. It's not the gateway drug to not eating at all. I just hope that wherever you are, that that you love yourself or you can move towards a place where you love yourself more because really women are strong, powerful. They should be measured by their intelligence and abilities and the way you look should be kind of secondary to who you are inside. I also don't know how to end this because I've just said something so personal and now I'm just gonna like peace out. But if you've watched this whole thing, thank you so much. I hope that you're having a good day, a good life. And I'm just like sending you some hugs through the screen because who doesn't need more hugs in their life? Bye everybody.